All right, everybody. Thank you for watching the previous clip. The one before we had some media offline effect problems, so I appreciate uh, the comments here in the comment section below about that. So this is going to be a quicker tutorial on how to make this water cutting effect in DaVinci Resolve using the color page. So here I've got my clip at the bottom on the timeline here. We use a tripod to get this shot. I'm going to disable the um, audio clip on the bottom here. We don't need that running while we're doing the tutorial here. So I'm going to unlink this clip. Just isolate the audio, hit the D button to disable that. So the, the full clip here, if I press uh, spacebar, again using a tripod, got the water running, we got the sound of the background we're, we're going to use in a minute, and then we're going to cut the water and then let it run a little bit more after the uh, cut. And then we're going to turn it off and just get a clean plate, which is this section here. So clean plate is something we're going to use when we cut out the water and then put your hand or put something else underneath the water just to sell the effect a bit more. So space bar to stop. We're gonna hit the B button on our, our keyboard to get the blade tool. You can also find the blade tool in the middle menu section here. It's also the way to cut some of the uh, video that you have. Before I do that though, I wanna relink both of these here. So hit the link button up top. Now these clips are linked again. Hit the B, we're gonna cut this here. Switch back to A for my uh, pointer tab. And then we're gonna bring this right over just about the spot where I cut the water, which is right there. And then bring this uh, clean plate over on top of that. So you can see this here, water, press space, water's running, I cut it, it goes to nothing but we don't want this whole clip to be shown. We're gonna cut out some of this using a mask, using a mat, uh, mat effect in uh, the color page. So bring this over here. We're gonna click on the color tab at the bottom. Here we are in the color page in DaVinci Resolve. Another thing I fixed is that my mouse scroll wheel wasn't working before. It is now, so if you scroll, you can zoom in or you zoom out, or if you hold down the scroll wheel, you can move this around a little bit. Again, if you don't have a scroll wheel or it's broken, you can use control and scroll or alt and scroll, which I did before in the previous video. So what we're gonna do here is have um, our timeline. On the top left, you can click on that so you can see your two clips. I'm gonna click on the clean plate clip on the top here. On the top right side, you're gonna see the nodes. This is gonna be where we're gonna create the effect. Uh, the, the piece here we're gonna need to add is an alpha output. And so right click on the mouse, create add alpha output. This will show up as blue dot here on the right. We're gonna connect the two blues and then that will mean any effect we create on this clip will then show through to the actual end result. We're gonna create a hole here or a window. So we can go at the bottom. If it's not already selected, you've got a couple different options here at the bottom. We're gonna click on this circle, this window tab, and then we're down here to the pen tool. With the pen tool selected, we're gonna to go to our time or to our clip, and we're gonna go right where I cut the water clip, and then create this hole. Uh, it didn't work. Pen tool. There we go. Ah, made a mistake. You can see I made this uh, window here on the bottom timeline. You wanna make sure to use it on the top timeline, which is where we created the alpha output. So we're gonna delete this. We're gonna, you can reset the node grade here to get rid of that and go back up to the top uh, timeline, top video clip here. Hit the pen tool at the bottom. And then we're gonna create that mask, that effect here. Here we go. We're gonna zoom in to make this a little bit better. You can see it's pretty close to where it was cut. You can make one more here if you want to. There we go. And then we wanna make sure, cause we're gonna to have to keyframe this cause later on I'm gonna put my hand underneath the clip. So you gotta move these keyframes or move these points over a little bit. So what we're gonna do here is in the lower right section under keyframes, we're gonna create the keyframe. Just move this 
which will create the keyframe there. And the second thing we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of feathering to this initial uh, spot on the clip. So that way it shows through to the other keyframes we're going to create later on. You can do this at the bottom here. We're going to create a little bit of an inside feathering, a little bit of an outside feathering here. If you zoom back in, you can see that there are a few different points. Again, this inside feathering, the outside feathering, just to make it a little bit softer. There we go. And then we're going to scroll here a little bit just where my hand is coming into frame. Scroll out. And then we're going to have to bring this over to where my hand is coming in. There we go. Now you'll see in the lower right again, the keyframe was created. So what this does, if you're new to DaVinci Resolve, new to video editing, a keyframe tells the computer this particular frame is important and we want this mask, this window we created to be saved. And so we have a keyframe at the beginning of the clip, which is here. And then it's going to slowly move to the second keyframe over here. So I'll just show you here. See my arms coming in. And right here, if you look closely, this window effect kind of cut off my hands. So we have to change that. Again, make sure you're on the right video clip, which is here. And then right where it cuts off, right about here, we're going to make another keyframe to change where the position of this um, dot is. So we're going to move this up a little bit. And by doing that, you see it lower right. Again, it's going to create that keyframe. We'll scrub it here a little more. That should do a pretty good job. Zoom out to confirm. Yeah, there we go. Looks good. Now, one other spot here, actually. You can see my fingers get cut off. So let's see where I put my fingers in. Right there. And we're going to move this out just a little bit. And there we go. Bring it back into the edit page here. Hit the space bar to play. Water is running. I'm going to cut it. And there it is. Put my hand underneath the silly effect. That still cuts off a little bit here on the top. Again, you can go back in there and change some of those keyframe positions. But you get the general idea. And then, of course, you want to make sure to cut off the lower video here. So those two line up. So the effect would end right there. Hey, hope that was helpful. Kind of a quicker tutorial. Again, appreciate the comments in the comment section below about that media offline. I'll make another video about why that popped up and what's going on. Hopefully this one's a little bit better. Uh, again, appreciate the comment. Appreciate you watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like button below. Share the video with somebody else who might find it beneficial. Comment on the video, anything good or tips or tricks or things that you want to see or do. And subscribe and hit the bell notifications so you can notify it every time I upload content. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the comment. We'll see you next time.